How's everybody doing today? It's your friend Tyler here, and you are watching Geek Radar. So today I found out that they released a Watchmen official trailer, and this was put out a, a, a few days ago, and uh, I'm really excited because Watchmen is one of my favorite comics. But before we get this started, go ahead and like, share, and subscribe, and hit that Taco Bell button that always Blake calls it, as Blake always calls it, because every time you do this, it gives us more and more content that we're able to release, and we're going to start doing giveaways soon. So get on that subscription because these giveaways are going to be awesome, and I can't wait to do it. But with Watchmen, this is my favorite comic. Alan Moore and Gibbons are absolute geniuses. And if I've showed you, I don't, and with the, whoop, with the ultimate cut on the 4K of Watchmen, they changed the ending, of course, but it actually shows Tales of the Black Freighter inside, you know, the movie, and that's the way the graphic novel is. But a lot of people do not know that there is a sequel comic to Watchmen called Doomsday Clock. Now, this came out a while ago. It's This is issue 1 out of 12. It's taken, I think, like almost 3 years to make out of, and it's only 12 issues. But And they also had this variant that's really cool. It's Rorschach, of course, and it's actually reflective that it's Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman, which I thought was really cool, and it feels like a true sequel to Watchmen. And also with Alan Moore, there's another great uh, comic and graphic novel. It's called V for Vendetta. There's a lot of people that's watched the movie and stuff that is absolutely fantastic. But if you're a really big comic nerd like I am, check out the actual graphic novel. And before we get started with this video, as I can say, like, share, subscribe, because it's even going to get y'all more stuff, more content, and it's going to help us out and help you out win giveaways. But yeah, let's get this started. Let's see how this is. This is Watchmen, the official trailer. Let's get This is 2 minutes and 37 seconds. Let's get to this. People who wear masks are driven by trauma. They're obsessed with justice because of some injustice they suffered. Ergo, the mask. It hides the pain. I wear the mask to protect myself. Right. From the pain. Not Rorschach. There was a cavalry involved shooting last night. You gonna give me the speech now? What speech? I should calm down, take a breath, before we're at war again. No. There's a guy in my trunk. Delightful. <laughs> Put him in the pod. You know why you're here? Hmm. Some nun kicked in my door and put me in the trunk of our fucking car. This is that really is good. That is correct. I want my lawyer. Yeah, we don't have to do that with terrorists. What the Why would they start this shit up again? again? Maybe there was something they didn't want found. Oh! They had a mission. Great actor. It's only just begun. Yes! Ozzy Mendez. Cavalry has our names and addresses. Just run and scare. Are we safe? That's a cool yes. shot. Each place we go. There's a vast and insidious conspiracy. If I told you about it, your head would explode. Just run and scare. What is this? This. It's the only way to show you the truth. You need to help stop the 7th Cavalry. I'm doing what? Those fuckers are trying to start a war. Oh, shit. Oh, tears to the Black Raider flag. Is that Archie to shit? Well, it looks like you got things under control here. Full costume. Thanks. Watch. Okay. HBO, October 20th. Now, this is where it gets me. 
This doesn't feel like Watchmen to me. Now, I'm going to give it a chance because I had watched the original trailer. I think they dropped at Comic-Con, and I was like, oh, I don't know, Blake. But I'm going to give this, a, give this a shot. I like that they got Irons in there as Ozymandias. But to me, you know, Doomsday Clock should be really the uh, sequel. I can understand, but, you know, with DC, they're not going to let, you know, Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman be in a rated R movie. You know, and, and I'm glad that DC's coming out with more rated R stuff. Whenever I was like, the Joker sucks! And our Joker review, you know, it was, it, you know, that's pure satire. We, we have fun. But, I mean, he's a good villain, you know, because also check out The Killing Joke. That is a great comic as well. You know, I'm not really a fan of the Joker comments, you know. But if you go back and watch that uh, Joker review, it's actually pretty funny, you know. It changed me, and I think... I think Joaquin Phoenix is going to get an Oscar for that. But with the comic book and the movie of Watchmen, the, the movie changed the ending, which I liked way better. I'm going to let you read Watchmen, the show, exactly what happens in the comic, but I think, I think Zack Snyder made it. But he made the ending way more epic. But I don't know about this. You know, I know there's mass superheroes and stuff, and, uh, you know, especially with Watchmen, but with the Rorschach, I'm going to say Rorschach wannabes, I, I, I thought this was different, you know. And, and Doomsday Clock, it, it picks up. It's like, well, at the end of Watchmen, I'm not going to spoil it for y'all, but one of the characters does something that actually start up a bunch of shit. But yeah, I'll be happy if we get to see Dr. Manhattan as well. I know one trailer uh, I had watched, I seen the blue hand and stuff, and I was like, Dr. Manhattan. But I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, I don't know too much, you know what I mean, how it's going to be. You know, I'm going to give it a shot, though, and I hopefully y'all give it a shot. And check out the Watchmen comics, and definitely check out Doomsday Clock. Because this is a true sequel. We got everybody back. And this is literally, you know, the, the nukes are about to drop. It feels like a true sequel to Watchmen. But yeah, if you enjoyed this review, like, share, and subscribe. Because every time you do this, it helps us out and break more videos. And you actually get prizes and all kinds of stuff for subscribing. But yeah, like, I really enjoyed this. And I think, I think it'll be good. Uh, Blake thought it was pretty good. But kind of feel like they stamped that Watchmen name on there for HBO to be like, Oh, let's get these people in. But I'm willing to give it a shot. I'm very, very iffy with the comics that I read and especially messing with classics. So, you know, with Watchmen and the Joker, I think Joker, check out that Joker reaction that we put up. It is absolutely hilarious. And I think Joaquin is going to walk away with that Oscar. But yeah, with this, I, I really hope... It, it does just, justice to Watchmen and maybe can get an Emmy or something like that. You know, I, I'm really hoping that this will be really good. And hopefully in the future we'll get Doomsday Clock. And I actually heard they're doing a V for Vendetta remake, which it kind of strayed a little bit from the comics, but I'm down with it. You know, I love the first one anyways. But yeah, yeah I'm going to say it again. Like, share, and subscribe with Geek Radar. Hit that little Taco Bell button as Blake calls it, so you'll know every time we release a video, and it'll just pop up like that. But yeah, like, share, and subscribe, and we're doing giveaways and stuff as soon as we get enough subscribers. But yeah, this is the Watchmen um, official trailer. It came out like three days ago, but I'm going to go ahead and upload this so all my comic fans will, and, and even more movie fans and TV show, will actually enjoy this, and hopefully this has been very informative. But yeah, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the Taco Bell button. I'm Tyler, and you've been watching Geek Radar. You know what? I'm going to go watch Watchmen. Let's, let's do this. I'm going to go watch Watchmen right now. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And every one of you means so much to me. All right, yeah, I'm watching Watchmen. All right, guys. Peace.